Hey everybody, Linda aka The Game Girl here, and today we got something from Atari Creep. I'm gonna crack it open and see what he got inside. So, I was talking with Atari Creep on a stream, and he said he had something that was not what he wanted anymore, and I was like, well, what do you got? So, you'll say, I, I, I have a game, I don't want it, and stuff like that, and I'm struggling right now with all the tape you put, <laughs> Chris. Oh my gosh, Atari Creep put a lot of tape. So, thank you for taping it so well, so that nobody will crack into it and see what it is. <laughs> but, um, for those who don't know, Tire Creep had a bunch of... <laughs> what is this? He said he was 3D printing stuff, and so I was like, well, can you 3D print me something that you did for, um, it was a while back and it was um, a, he did a switch holder game case and I was like that looks super dope what else did you give me bro let me see hold on so I asked him can you 3d print me one and he did so this is what he did it's it holds about 12 games I believe let's see 2 4 6 8 10 12 yeah so 12 games and it's red and white and it's really thick for the material they use, so I'm grateful that you made me this, man. This is really dope. I'm gonna put me some games in there, and I'm gonna hold them, like, I have, um, space on a desk where I, I work, and so I put all my stuff right there while I'm streaming, and it doesn't look like a hot mess anymore. What did you- Oh! I didn't know you were gonna make me one of these, bro. Thank you. But, um, for those who don't know, Atari Creep does a walk to end Alzheimer's. He walks every year. And uh, you could buy a t-shirt, you could buy something, or you can donate it slightly. Um, let's see. Oh, so he says just basically take your time. My dogs are back there, you can hear them. But it says basically just take your time. Um, don't rush putting this on there. But it's super purple. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm gonna... Hmm, do I have anything out right now? I'll have to see what I got, but... Heck yeah, man. This is so tight. It's a mold! Look at this! So dope. Heck yeah. We got that. What else we got in here? I'm gonna make sure there's nothing else because I see a bunch of stuff. All these papers. Nothing else. Okay, so. Oh, you gave. Okay, you gave me buttons. Buttons! And a sticker. I have a sticker on my skateboard, bro. So, thank you. I got another one. So buttons and a sticker, Tari Creep, heck yeah. And so let me cut this gently because it's very fragile. And it's got some weight to it, um, but basically he said he had a Dungeons and Dragons basic set that he doesn't want to use anymore. And he said, would anybody want it? And I was like, heck yeah, I've been looking for one for the, like, the longest time, and this is not as beat up as the other ones I've seen. Like, all the other ones that I saw were completely destroyed, taped up to no end, or they wanted to charge, like, a hundred and something dollars. And I don't have a hundred dollars to spend on a box set, so let's see what he's got inside. So here is the basic rule set for the book. This is dope. Uh, for those who don't know, I love me some Dungeons and Dragons. So let's see, has anybody wrote in it? Let's find out. Because sometimes people put notes and stuff. No, it doesn't look like there's any notes, really. Doesn't look beat up. Like, okay, that's, that's dope, okay. And then there is a module. It's keep the Keep of the Borderlands. Oh, sweet. But it looks like... It's missing. Is it in here? Okay, here it is. I was like, whoo! Okay, so <laughs> I got scared for a second because when you opened it up, all I saw was this. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> there's only the map. I'm sad. But um, actually, it's right here. So it's right here. They just uh, took it apart because, um, or it fell apart because these were not uh, stapled very well. Back in the day, they fell apart from heavy wear and use. Okay, so there is notes here. Um, whoever <laughs> it was, 
put cellar, 12, 13. Okay, so basically they ran the module and they put like little notes in there. So that's not too bad. Like whoever this was, they had the mindset to like 3M, this and that, whatever. So put it back in here. So now it's back in there. And then what's this? Oh, it looks like um another sheet that probably goes in there, maybe. Oh, is it character class sheets? Oh, heck yeah. So somebody played a bard, multi-class bard. And it looks like <laughs> their charisma was 17. They had a good bard. This is so cool. Look at this. It's not pulled out all the way, but looks like they had... It's so cool to see these. Like, their class was 24, 20, 24 to 45. Race was 20 to 40, 24. Um, base move was 119. Their dex was 14. They had a weapon missile. That is so cool. So, heck yeah. Um, critical chart. So it looks like somebody printed out a critical chart. <laughs> That's tight. Critical chart. Blunt weapon. Edged weapon. Fumble chart. <laughs> so if you slip and fall, this is what happened. Okay, this is so tight. Like, whoever did this, I don't know your name, whatever your name was, but dude, you did an awesome job. Oh, and look. Oh my gosh. I love these. Like, look at their dungeon. For all my dungeons and friends, look at this. This is so cool. They got a graph paper and they had a dungeon. Oh, wow. This is so tight. I like this stuff. Oh, and they have some extra chart sheets. They were not too bad of an artist. Look at this. Look at these little... Hold on, let me see if it'll... Okay, hold on. Focus away from my face. Focus on the paper. Focus on the paper. It's not gonna focus on the paper. But look at that. They're not bad of an artist, whoever that person was. And let's see what else they got. Some more class sheets. Notebook paper from the 70s. Oh, more dungeons. Oh, snap. More dungeons. They modified their dungeon. Look at that. They had different floors on their dungeon. Let's see what else they got. I just like this stuff, man. Okay, so they have some, like, stuff to their stats and stuff. Combat may have more. Combat encounter. Whoa, dude, they wrote a lot. Melee, they wrote everything down. Like, I am set because I never played first edition or original D&D. Um, so I have no idea, like, any of this stuff. But look, at they put, like, tons and tons of papers for to choose from. More, I don't know that they spilled on, but they spilled something on there. But look at that, another dungeon. This is so tight. Another dungeon. Oh, look. At the beginning of their dungeon, they have skeletons and orgs. So everybody watch out. That is so cool. Oh, this is so cool. How their money, they kept, like, track of all their money. <laughs> he took their work petty cash thing. <laughs> that is so cool. They took their petty cash thing, and then they did that. So here's another... Um, Attack rolls and different things. Um, it's a little confusing for some people, but um, they have different attack rolls in 5th edition, so I guess you, you get used to it. Let's see what else is on the bottom. I think there's something on the bottom. Hold on. Let's see what this is. I feel like there's more. What is this? Oh, they made their own sheets. Okay, so they just took like a basic sheet and then they made their own sheet. So they didn't have any sheets left. That's cool. What else is this? What is this? Oh, wow. Wait, hold on. They have typewriter paper? <laughs> Look at this. What company is this from? Where is this at? M.A. So it is... Pittsfield. So definitely $3.15. Look at this. $3.15. This is so tight. I love stuff like this. Like, for some people this is boring, but for me this is so cool to see, like, what is this? There's a seal on it. It's backwards. I don't know. I can't see it. 
But yeah, man. Look at this, Gen Con. I never been to a Gen Con. I had a couple buddies ask if I was going to a Gen Con, but no, nah, man, I can't this year. But it would be so cool to see a Gen Con. I do hear that they're gonna bring back TSR, so hoping for another convention with TSR. And the last thing they have is TSR's Role Playing Association membership. Uh, back in the day, you could become a member. You could go to, you know, the official places and different things. And it was like a five-year membership for one free D&D module. Um, you basically could uh, mail in your uh, stuff to, it was like Chicago. Okay, Chicago. And you basically just did that. And it was not too bad. I mean, you got a membership card, a, a certificate. I would have liked that. It was kind of like uh, memberships back in the day were really tight to do. But now you don't see them anymore. I mean, we do have them, but not as much. But it was fun. So thank you so much for watching this unboxing. It was to get, you know, some stuff. And let me know, what is your favorite module of Advanced Dungeons & Dragons? Um, I'm going to start playing a little bit of this. So let me know what you think. Like, should I do Ravenloft? Should I start off with, like, uh, Greyhawk? But... I hope you all have a great rest of your day. I will drop a link to Atari Creeps channel in the description below. He talks a lot about retro stuff, so you definitely will not have any time being bored watching his videos. And he does like to shred. Guitars are dope. Catch you next time. Bye, everybody. Peace. Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games.